Was that was that a fair trade no, no, for the man. merchant of death? I know you kill it on the court, but he kills it in real life. Is it true you had to have sex with Vladimir Putin to get released from Russia, Brit? Get out of the way, dog. Brit. Get out of the way. Brit, is it true you had to... Get out of the way. What about his doing? wife? A conservative troll did his usual song and dance when he spotted WNBA star Brittany Griner in an airport. Do you still want to boycott Stop. America, Brittany? Stop. Stop. Get out of me. Stop. 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 I'm weird. Why? She hates Stop. America. Stop. Are you, what about the merchant of death, Brit? Stop. Get off me. Stop, dude. Why are you being like that? Dude, I want to talk to Brit. No. Brit, are you scared to no. talk to me? Brit, you're scared. Have a good day. The merchant of death, Brit. You should be ashamed of yourself. Britt, do you hate America? Britt. Britt, was it a fair trade for the merchant of death? Britt, was it a fair trade? I want to talk to I want to talk to the famous athlete. Can you talk to me? How about that? Okay, well, do you do you like protecting her? Even though she hates our country? I do what I need to. Well, do you think that she Have a good day. did you hear that she had sex with Vladimir Putin? Have a good day. There is a broader argument to be made here, but first. Now what you might not know is that Alex Stein was also a former contestant on different reality TV shows. Though not that anyone would even notice since each of his appearances were very short-lived. In 2012, Stein was a contestant on the reality TV show, The Glass House. And boy, was it something. At the end of the day, I'm a good guy. And it should come as no surprise that Stein also sexually harassed a female contestant while he was on the show. By the end of the first episode, almost every contestant voted him off the show. The Troll is a failed reality show contestant and now he has found a new grift aoc my favorite big booty latina i love you aoc you're my favorite look at that booty on aoc that's my favorite big booty latina Woo! i love it aoc hot 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 like a tamale and more he would storm the barstool sports office demanding to see dave portnoy after the two traded barbs publicly on social media he also has a huge fan in none other than Jason Whitlock, another troll who will do anything for attention. Now, the WNBA would see all of this, right? And then they would respond to what happened with one of their players saying, quote, the safety of Brittany Griner and all WNBA players is our top priority. Griner's teammate, Brianna Turner, would write, player safety while traveling should be at the forefront. People following with cameras saying wild remarks is never acceptable. Excessive harassment. Our team nervously huddled in a corner, unsure how to move about. We demand better. The Players Union would release the following statement, which read in part, What BG and all of her Phoenix teammates experienced today was a calculated confrontation that left them feeling very unsafe. Everyone who was paying attention knew this would happen. We could have and should have been more proactive. Allowing teams to fly charter is only about player health and safety. And until the league and teams take this issue seriously, situations like this will continue to occur. Every commercial flight forced upon our players is a threat to their health and safety. We implore the league and the teams not to wait another day to change the rule regarding travel. Now, here's another very important part of this. There is a dispute between league and team, and I'll share with you the details. The WNBA said we informed the Phoenix Mercury earlier this year to move ahead with any arrangements they felt were appropriate and needed, including charter flights. However, a person familiar with the Mercury said the league didn't approve charter flights for Griner for the entire 2023 season. There would be a ton of detractors, including the quartering, who would tweet in reply to the calls for chartered flights, quote, nobody pays to watch them play and nobody buys their merch. Kobe Bryant would disagree, RIP. What is the age of consent? What should it be in your mind? Go on record. <laughs> I support whatever laws in place in your current residence. You know, That's I... A cop out, isn't it? For the record, the guy who was all about protecting kids like the quartering had this to say on the age of consent. It's a conversation we simply cannot air here, but I highly recommend one watches to get a better understanding of just how nuts this guy is. There is sheer hypocrisy with the quartering and those who think like the quartering. And I'm going to show it to you right now. So you're all about protecting women's sports when it's a pretext to be a transphobe, but not when it comes to protecting women athletes from being harassed by men while traveling. Jamil Hill would also screenshot the quartering. 
showing its hypocrisy. Then writing, isn't it funny how the protect women's sports crowd is very okay with female athletes receiving substandard treatment when it comes to facilities, salary, and generally things that would improve the game but are loud as blank when they can use women to promote their own bigotry? That is exactly it. It is all about protecting women's sports, but only against Leah Thomas. It is about protecting women's sports, but only when they are given an interview to go on the Daily Wire or the Blaze or Alex Jones to rail against transgender athletes when they make up such a small percentage and an entire coalition that was formed only found five examples. It is the problem that is not one. And yet here we are right now talking about this when the richest people across the planet are robbing you blind and doing this to serve as a distraction between me and you or any other conservative that is watching this. It is time to realize these are not serious core issues. And the real issue is that we keep getting screwed over and over again.